I'm Jason. I'm here with BrandSource. I'm going to talk about how to measure the opening for um, in different ranges, different range installs, things like that. Um, so this here that we have is going to be considered just a freestanding range. It does not cover over your countertops, the edge that's there. Um, there's a lot of different ranges out there that do cover over the edge of your countertop, um, which is kind of a nice feature. It keeps a cleaner look to it, for one, and um, just keeps food grime from falling down the sides. Um, so a lot of the older slide-in ranges, which are the ones that cover the counters, they did have a narrower cutout on them. Um, so these here, they're a traditional 30-inch range. So your opening is already going to be 30 inches. If you happen to have an older range that goes over your counters, you're definitely going to want to slide it out and then measure the opening that's back in there. Um, a lot of them, like I said, back then they had a 29 and a half inch cutout, which is the opening side to side. Um, also, some of the older ones had a big um, counter filler that's in the back as well, too. Um, your manufacturer specifications are going to give you an opening width and an opening depth that's required to do the install. So like I said, if you have one sliding over the counters, the best way you're going to get in to measure that opening, slide your range out. And then you're going to want to measure the back width opening because your front width may be better than different than the back width. So here we have a 30 inch opening. So we can get a 30 inch range in there. Again, it's always going to be up to your manufacturer's specifications and I definitely highly recommend talking to your salesman or wherever that you're purchasing the appliance from um, in order to get those, those um, specifications. Um, thanks again. I'm Jason with BrandSource. That's how to measure a range install.